University of Texas researchers believe they may have found an antibody that protects against all COVID-19 variants. And as KXAN's Grace Reader explains now, it comes as Texas sees a rise in COVID-19 cases this summer. There's been an uptick in COVID-19 cases nationwide and particularly in our region this summer, according to the CDC, though nowhere near where we were at the height of the pandemic. So in the summer, uh, people get hot, they go indoors where we know the virus transmits more efficiently. The vaccines that are currently available right now are not well matched to the variants that are circulating. The Texas Medical Association says Texas is among states seeing the highest number of cases right now nationwide. That's determined both through wastewater testing and positive tests being reported to health departments. Well, fortunately, there wasn't much of that uh, more serious COVID-19 in the hospitals, and the hospitalization remained relatively low. Right down the street at the University of Texas. Pretty significant and pretty encouraging. Researchers say they've discovered an antibody that could protect against all COVID-19 variants. According to the university, the antibody called SC27 attaches to spike proteins preventing infection. I guess what I would say that one uh, huge um, uh, piece of research that needs to continue is looking for a quote-unquote universal um, COVID vaccine um, which this uh, does um, work towards a little bit, um, but it's, we're definitely not there yet. But in the meantime, TMA says a little more caution may once again be warranted. We know that since it's a respiratory condition, we're going to be seeing a very sharp increase in the hospitalization with more severe disease in the upcoming months of the fall and the winter, which is when we're going to be seeing the triple virus, which includes uh, RSV and influenza as well. Grace Reader, KXAN News. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, viral activity in wastewater in Texas right now qualifies as very high. And Austin Public Health shut down its COVID-19 dashboard earlier this year, back in April, a little over four years after health officials declared a pandemic. APH still continues to monitor and respond to COVID-19, but it's tracking it like any other respiratory illness. Statewide data for this year shows more than 283,000 confirmed cases and probable cases.